Hey, uh, welcome to the first tutorial of OpenCV using C++. In this tutorial, we will be looking forward to write a program which will load an image and display it using C++. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to go and create a new C++ file, add new item, C++ file. I'm going to name it as load the image.cpp, click on add here is the source file load the image.cpp now let's start with importing the necessary header files first i'm going to import the core header file which is present in opencv2 core core.hpp next i'm going to import hiGUI which is also present in opencv2 hiGUI and hiGUI.hpp Next, I'm going to import IO stream because I'm interested in printing few uh, things like dimensions of the image. So yeah, before starting with the main function, we have to uh, define the namespaces. So there are basically two namespaces that we are going to use. One is for open CV and one is for standard output and uh, input operations. So it is using name space uh, std for input and output operations and uh, using namespace cv for computer vision based operations so now we are going to start with our main function and uh, now i'm at the end i'm just going to return it as zero now i'm going to define a matrix name it as image we will load the image uh, into the image object image is also basically a matrix uh, containing the number of rows and number of columns of pixels so to first let us see what's the dimension of this image that we have defined here so using the properties of image.calls and image.rows we are going to print out the dimensions of this image so i'm going to type uh, c i'm just going to see out dimensions of the image are space over here and so image dot rows and cross image dot columns and end in here okay, let's go ahead and run this I'm going to save and click on run as we can see in the console the dimensions of the image are 0 cross 0 so it is an empty image now let's try to load something into this image so to do that first we need to uh, first we have to place the image into the resources folder over here so to do that I'm going to go to my pictures and uh, just I'm going to copy my profile picture here just copy and click on resources right click and I'm going to paste that image as you can see we have an image here so let's try loading this image into our uh, the image object to load uh, we are going to use im read function so image is equal to im read so here we have to specify the path to our image click on our image and uh, you can see there is a full path here so double click on it I'm going to copy copy the path and I'm going to paste it here so I'm just going to double backslash it so that the one backslash escapes and we get the desired output output path so once it is done before displaying the image we have to check whether the image is successfully loaded or not if the image is not successfully loaded the image will be empty so to do to check whether the image is empty or not we are going to use a function on image object image dot empty image dot empty see out that image not successfully loaded Else, we will try to display the image so it is we use the function im show 
the name of the window so it will be my name and the image so after using the function i am show sure, we will use the function wait key to make sure we have enough time to see the image so i'm going to click on run yeah as you can see we have successfully loaded the image uh, using the i am read function and we have displayed the image using i am show uh, function so that's it for this tutorial uh, see you in the next tutorial where we discuss further image processing techniques like flipping flipping the image sharpening and animating the image and so on thank you